Hey guys, welcome to my channel, Tita's Red Desk. This is a channel about journaling, arts and crafts, Bible journaling, enjoying the good things in life. Uh, reminder, smile. Why? Because you can change somebody's day and it helps you as well when you smile. Um, always thank God because he's great and he does great things even when you don't notice he's, he's doing something for you. So uh, this video is going to be a little different. I want to show you my workspace, my Tita's red desk. And you'll probably be wondering, why is it red desk? I see it black. Well, it is black inside, as you can see. But if you flip it, the cover, which I'm going to do now, it is red with gold. Um, but this space, this is my workstation too. I work from home and as you can see, my laptop is there. Um, and the space is very small, as you can see. See, that's a 15 inch laptop and I have my, um, how is that called? Oh my gosh, my planner <laughs> next to it. And you see that there's barely space maybe for a pen and my hand on the right. And then it has some spaces there where I have some um, devotionals and my, my Bibles and some little brushes and a candle holder there and some of my pens and office supplies, right? So that's there. There is a drawer under, underneath this, this surface. But I'm going to show you why it's red. And like I said, it's called Tita's Red Desk because red is my favorite color. And if you flip this cover, it is kind of red, right? Red with gold. It's one of those, and that's the drawer. It's one of those um, secretary desks. I think that's how they call them. Uh, which I always wanted, but I never found one that was affordable until I stepped my foot in uh, home goods here in Florida, and I found this one at a really good price. So this is my workstation. This is where I work and um, where I also journal, okay? But as you may have seen in my previous videos, I've gained interest in watercolor. This is not enough space for that. Why? Because if I work here and I am working, I'm in the middle of a little project, learning some watercolor, learning, big word, because I have no idea what I'm doing yet. And um, then I'll have to move everything, palette, water, brushes to start working. So that didn't work for me. It was too much of a hassle. And it will affect my motivation because just thinking that I have to be moving all my supplies, my paintings uh, to work and then bring them back up, up on the table, it will be too much. And I'll know that I will be, it will, it will affect my motivation on doing it. So as you can see, that's where my phone goes when I'm recording videos. And um, so I needed to, I needed to find a solution that was space friendly because I live in a very small apartment. And I was also budget friendly because this is a hobby. I'm not making any money out of it yet. Maybe I will in the future. No, maybe I get really good at it. Who knows? Anyways, so I needed a solution for that, uh, that will be uh, space friendly and budget friendly. So I was looking for ideas on what to do. And I came up with something that is, it came out for about, what, $20? And I will show you right now. So what I did is I have a dining table. That's one of those that had that um, middle piece um, in the da in the center that you can remove if you have less people dining with you. So it was a six chair dining set because the apartment is so small. I had to remove the centerpiece and make it into a four chair stable. So that centerpiece was being, you know, taking space in a closet, doing nothing, collecting dust, something that I have, something extra to clean. And I saw it yesterday when I was cleaning. I was like, hmm, 
maybe I can put this piece of wood to use. So this is what I did, right? So like I said, I spent about $20. Um, I love this poster. This is from the Flow uh, Draw, How to Draw th Something Every Day, I think it's called. It's, it has a lot of nice uh, motivational phrases there. Drawing, painting, creating is like a muscle. You have to work on it every day. It's really nice. So I'm not the kind that like a lot of stuff on the walls, but this was nice and I just put it there with tape. Anyways, so let's get to it. So this is, let me just move back so you can see the whole thing. So this is the piece of wood right there that is was the middle, the center of the table, okay? So it has the things here. Unfortunately, I couldn't move these pieces, but it doesn't, it doesn't affect me. Um, okay, so it's real wood, it's heavy. So what I had to do was I had to go to Home Depot and get these things. I'm gonna go under now. These things to, and have my husband place three of these under and screw them on the wall to hold that piece of wood there. So I have some little holes that attach to the other screws on the table that I, they don't bother me. And if I move to a bigger place, uh, then I can still use my six table if I want to, whatever. So I'm not gonna ruin the, the piece either. But here it is. So here I have um, some books, some watercolor books, some that I need to flip through for you guys actually and I have my brushes here if you want to know what this is <laughs> this is a great lamp that I bought in a Goodwill for like four dollars so this is right here this is a cup a measuring cup for the kitchen right for cooking but I use one that is a stainless steel often and honestly I didn't need this but I found it so cute I bought it on an impulse and I was about I was actually about to donate it because I'm I'm um, I believe in minimalism and the only access that I have are these ones that you see here this is my the, my crowded area in my house this space <laughs> so I don't like having additional things if I don't need them uh, or spending money on things I don't need so this one I thought wait but I need cups for my watercolor so why not put these things to use so see there are four cups or four containers uh, this one is one cup, this one is half a cup, then this one should be a quarter or so, or three quarters, and then this one should be, yeah, this one is the one quarter, so then this one has to be the three quarters, the, oh, it's one third, never mind, one third, so, yeah, what am I saying three quarters for, it's crazy, anyway, so there you go, so then I have four containers, for water so I don't have to get up many times I I'm trying to learn watercolor and uh, I've heard the suggestion from the authors of these books that having two containers is much better so I have two and two so I don't have to get up often if I'm doing like a long project um, so that's that and I like it because it saves space and it looks adorable with the little animals see that cute okay so here over here I have watercolor palettes and some gouache those are the Paul Rubens this is the Karen Dutch that you've seen before these are the gelatos uh, 
And then here I have the big Kiritaki palette. And I have another palette somewhere, which is a travel one. Um, but that's it. So here I have a small stool uh, that I'm not sure yet if it will accommodate my back. But and then I have my other, some other books and my trash container. So if this hurts my back, then I still have my working chair right there that I can, I make sure that works with this height too. So if my back hurts, I just move this chair over here and I'll be fine. Um, but that is the space. Now I have space to make a mess and just leave it there and nobody cares. Um, so this is my budget friendly solution. I honestly spend $20 and between the brackets, the screws, let me see, was it 20? It's like, uh, yeah, because the screws are like, they're not cheap because they're, um, they have to be for wool. That's a real wall there. That's not sheet rock. And, and the, those things, I don't know how they're called. They look like an L, metal. And that's it. So then I have my, I'm going to move a little back here so you can see it. And then I have a little area here for my kids to play chess and tic-tac, talk, whatever, uh, on the, on the rock or a mat. And this is, that's my space right there. That's my space. So I hope you enjoy it. Um, I wanted to share this with you guys. Uh, if you don't have a room, uh, don't get discouraged if you don't have a whole room for your art or if you don't have a big house or, you know, or a lot of money to invest in a studio. Anything works when you have the, the desire to, to accomplish something. And I think this is, this is 50, six inches long so it's a lot of space i can if i need more space i can just remove the books and put them at the bottom um and i'll have all the space to to paint and put the the palettes open and the cups and everything and it's uh so it's 56 inches long by 18 inches uh in depth so it's pretty pretty good pretty good all right so that's it i think I think I covered everything I wanted to cover. Anyways, thank you so much, guys, for watching. I hope you enjoy, and I hope uh, this encourages you to create your own space and don't be shy or don't get discouraged if you don't have either the, I don't know, lots of money to have your own room or studio for your art. Anything works, and there you go. I like it. It's going to work. It's, it works for me. So I hope you enjoy it. Take care and God bless.